Hey, how's it going guys? It's me, Silent Core again, and I'm bringing you the third old school content poll. And this is a really short and sweet one, there's only two questions this time, and it's regarding rares in the old school servers. There's already been a development blog on rares within the old school just discussing how they want to release them. It's really nice that they're taking so much consideration to how they're actually going to release them, and it will have a big impact on the game on uh, how they actually release them, how many, how many they give out and uh, whether they're going to give one to every player because if you can imagine all the people playing now they're going to have no real value if they just give it to one to every player uh, you know it'll be even less valuable than the fish mask because the fish mask was uh, available in the Squeal of Fortune which was you know it was still rare to get but it wasn't but could you imagine if that was given to everybody at RuneScape you know it would have almost no value so the poll's actually just been released there's just over a thousand votes so far and it's going to be running for seven days and uh, there's going to be another poll regarding rares in the seven days time, so on the, I think the, the 18th of April, oh no the 17th is down here, uh, that's going to be the next poll that's going to regard how they're actually given out. So um, it's worth going over just the two types of uh, rares, so before 2002 in the seasonal events such as uh, the Easter event, um, the Christmas event and the Halloween event, items before 2002 were actually tradable, so that means that anybody that started playing after this time and didn't actually get one will have to pay to get actually receive one and the people that did have them you know they would sl slowly quit or um, sell them on so they actually did get rare and rare and that's why rares continue to go up substantially in price over the years so it's really going to be a lot different in the old school servers depending on how many they give out at once because obviously there's a lot of rares here I don't I don't know if they're planning on um, re-releasing all of the seasonal events to give these out again or um, it, I guess it'll just depend on the next poll next week but I believe the Santa hat uh, which is listed here was the first was the last tradable uh, holiday event item. They did say after the Santa hat that uh, rares did have a bit of a negative impact on the economy and uh, they weren't going to make any of them tradable. So as you'll see all the untradable rares came in this East the holiday events after 2002 Christmas events. So all the events after that it was untradable items. So this is also kind of cosmetics that were just untradable. So if you missed these events you'd have no way to get them such as the the Easter costume that was given out in 2007 event and they actually did re-release the, the, the Easter event this year which was kind of awesome. So let's just take a little look at the results so far, so that's a bit of a spoiler if you haven't voted already you can stop now or else I'm going to show them in this video. Uh, there's just two questions in this poll, so uh, the first one asks just simply would you like the rare items to return in some form? As you can see over 80% voted yes so far, so so far this question is fine you know, uh, there's over 75% of the vote going so I'd Rares will definitely come back. And then question 2 asks, if you did vote for rares to return, would you like the currently tradable rares to remain tradable? So this is quite an important question, and the vote so far is quite interesting, so it's below 75%, so as it stands right now, we don't have enough people voting yes to get this if rares were to come back. So we need 75%, I believe is the cut off point, so we definitely need uh, some more votes if you do want rares to return, that is. I don't want to persuade you guys to vote either way, you know, it's completely up to yourselves, that's the whole point of these uh, polls, but I voted yes for it because I would really like to see rares come back and be uh, tradable. Well, the ones here anyway, the ones that are listed here, so everything from Easter eggs to Santa hats, Halloween masks, and party hats and things like that. You know, the half wine jugs is a weird one, and the disco returning, these were actually items that they decided they didn't need them in the game anymore so that they remove the way you make them, but the but the actual item still remain. And this caused them to go up in price because people wanted to, to collect these in some sort of, uh, you know, they're, it's a discontinued item, so I'm going to hang on to it and it gains some sort of market value for no reason at all, really. And uh, so if I go back down, it's kind of nice that they've broken this up into two different polls because uh, this one just decides whether they're going to come back or not, and then the next one will decide in what way they're actually going to come back. So. Um, I voted yes to keep my mind open and then uh, the next poll will be the important one in which we decide on how they're actually given out. So if you guys are interested in voting in this poll I'll put the link at the top of the description. I'll actually put the link to the old school RuneScape Twitter with, that has the link to the, the, the login page because to vote in this poll you have to log in and I don't want to post an exact link to log in because uh, people might think it's a virus or whatever I don't want to put their password. So I'll put in the official old school RuneScape Twitter feed and you guys can click and find the poll from there. So I hope you guys have a nice day and uh, I'm going to be working on a video later on tonight so I should have that up tonight if it's ready, if not it'll be tomorrow. So um, I'll see you guys later, have a good one.